everybody. Welcome to another edition of His Turn, Her Turn. I would be the His Turn portion of that, Paul Bryant, and along with me, Lauren Fix, the car coach. We're in the middle of St. George, Utah, and we are in the midst of a 600-mile on and off-road drive with the brand new, all new, 2017 Land Rover Discovery. And let me tell you, I'm impressed. And I don't say that very often. Well, I mean, how could you not be impressed? This has been a remarkable trip. Uh, we <laughs> we started, uh, believe it or not, we started in Los Angeles. We flew from a charter to LA to uh, uh, Banga Banga, Utah, wherever we are. You know, I can't tell you how many flights I sit on and I bring a neck pillow that becomes lumbar. But this seat has lumbar. This is the first airplane I've sat on that actually has lumbar. Thank you, Land Rover. Much appreciated. When they, when they looked at the entirety of the car, they said, let's do things so that we can maximize every square cubic centimeter oh we can. That they've done. For, for functionality and also for storage. Storage was very, very important 21, for 21 different yeah. configurations for the seating and 21 different storage areas of which I love them all. Everything on the outside and everything on the inside was set up to put stuff if you need to because everybody's got their stuff stuff so you got to put your stuff someplace and Even you still have to put your people wet boots and stuff your kids play See, soccer stuff. you got wet cleats muddy cleats you, you got open muddy up bag, stuff put it in back snowmobile gear put snow it in back. stuff yep and we've seen it all here uh we have what i i've always called this vehicle a mountain goat there is nothing this truck can't do and let's let's just take them for a ride. Let's show them what we experienced because it was really impressive. And we brought our Pampers with us for some of it, so you'll enjoy the ride. <laughs> that jet over there is what we just got off of, and we're going to be driving those cars right there. First vehicle we get to drive. I'm very 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 happy. It's a three liter diesel engine in the new Land Rover Discovery. Uh, and it's my favorite color. It's like this Vesuvius orange. It's just really crisp and sharp. Some of the new things, this is all new. It's like 85% aluminum. So it still has a steel frame underneath, but the front end is magnesium. And they really went to a lot of effort to lightweight the vehicle, but still give it the strength. So it has a lot of strength. I really love the cream interior. And I know there's other colors, but for me, that's just heartwarming the wood and the real touch of everything. Everything is luxury. The in control, uh, which is the center stack, huge screen, um, has the ability to send messages. Like if you need to go to a, somebody's house, you can send that message to the car. And so the app will then know it when you get in the car, it'll tell you where it's there. It'll tell you the temperature at the destination, how long it'll take. Great information because we're all busy. Uh, there's also a fold out, great for tailgating. I like to tailgate. Uh, that's the thing from Buffalo, you know. We started tailgating. I know he's from Chicago. He likes to think they started everything there. <laughs> I personally love the torque of a diesel. Great when you're hauling. It has a lot of towing capability as well. We'll let Mr. Brian give you his opinion and what he thinks about this vehicle. And you can join us on our very exciting excursion through the most beautiful part of the world in St. George, Utah, all into the desert. It's just gonna be fun. We are somewhere in the middle of Utah. I'm not exactly sure, but we spotted one of these. It's an Arctic Cat HDX with treads on it. And I'm thinking that that could be possibly the only thing that I would rather have in the mountains than have one of these. In just a little bit, we're gonna get out and we're gonna go ahead and drive some off-road and have some real Land Rover fun. We're now going up in, in elevation into the mountains is you, can, you might peek around my uh, around the windows you can see we're into some eh, medium snow now but it's not uh, it's not drifting but the roads have certainly gotten very slick one of the things that I have always been uh, such a strong proponent of in these cars is that the Land Rover gives you the ability it, it gives drivers the ability uh, of taking an average driver and turning them into a good driver because of the technology that's involved in the car. And then it also has the ability of taking a good driver and turning them into a great driver. You can take somebody who knows what they're doing in the snow, and presumably I do as your host and mentor in these things, uh, and it really, really helps. You can leave it in all-wheel automatic, you can put it in mountain, you can put it in mud and snow, mud and ruts, 
which also was a great band and, and morning DJ crew. I love Mud and Ruts. But uh, nevertheless, it's got a lot of capability that you can build into, that's built into the car that you can draw up for certain situations. going to be on basically two wheels. This is going to be a full chassis articulation. Oh my god. I promise. This is wild. Send me pictures of it in case we die. <laughs> We are now hanging just like that other vehicle. If you want now to show the stiffness of the body, we can open and shut the hood. No, that's okay. I trust you because I'm not getting out of this car. You got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we keep it clean. Okay. This is crazy. Look at this shot. This is real. This is not us turning the camera. Wow. <laughs> Without these guys, this would not be possible. Holy God. Wow. Can't see where we're going. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. I'm not laughing. You got it, baby. Okay. Pro now, look at you. Your look racing at you. Your racing skills. Look at now, you. Well, God, after 30 years of racing, I better have learned something. But, okay, lads, uh, if you could, you know, there's, I think you missed a spec. Smart ass. You in the front, you're doing great. <laughs> but you in the back, you obviously pissed off somebody to get this job, and you don't think we work. We do a lot of driving of different vehicles. And all these people are like, oh, our vehicle's great on off-road. It's the best. Okay, let's be honest. Most people are not taking their vehicles off-road. And as I say to Paul on a regular basis, I'm not going to take my little teeny SUV crossover off-road. But if you're going to do it, you got to have what I call a mountain goat. And the best one is the Land Rover. And this discovery, again, is even better than the last one. And I want to see it go up there, actually. Probably could. In the, in the past, you've seen me with gas station uh, chicken gizzards. Ah. You've seen me with gas station sushi. No way. Uh, today, we went for the very pedestrian gas station cheddar worst. There's not a chance in uh, hell you could pay me to eat that. That is just the thought of how it's made and what's in it <laughs> makes my. Bleh. Was it good? Was it worth it? So that's today's culinary stop here on Land Rover Discovery. Now, over the years, uh, we've had the opportunity to drive Land Rover, Range Rover products. Uh, oh, South oh, America, Central America, uh, Iceland? Iceland, Africa, Scotland, uh, now Utah, and, and the, the terrain here Unbelievable. is just, if you haven't been to this part of the world, yes. well, number one, think about doing it. And number it's two, so cool. if you're thinking about doing some of the things that you just saw us doing. Get a pro to help you. 
Uh, a, get a pro to help you, and B, something that has this on the hood of it would probably help quite a bit. In my opinion, bottom line, this is the most capable SUV on the market that you can buy, that you can use for driving, towing, off-road, on-road, you name it. I would say or going to La Berna Dan or to the opera. That would be where he would go. I would go to a racetrack or snowmobiling. I want to go to an opera where they have off-roading. <laughs> hey, I tweeted the Paul Bryan. Uh, you can find me also on Facebook at, at Paul Bryan as well. Uh, Lauren, you you are all over. She's the Foster and Kleiser of social media. <laughs> I don't even know Foster and Kleiser. Billboard company. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in his area. Uh, you can find me going to my website at laurenfix.com. Uh, also find me on Twitter for breaking news at Lauren Fix. I also tweet under Car Smarts. Uh, you can follow all of my connections on all forms of social media uh, there. And uh, we appreciate the comments and we the do. follows and the shares. And do you know why we're going to wrap this up? Because it's raining. It's starting to rain. What's going on, Mother Nature? She wants us to drive in the mud now. Like we haven't done enough of that over the last two days. She's Let's a, go. She's a cruel mistress. Let's get out of here. Thank you, everyone. Let's Thank go. you, everybody. I'm driving.